Normally, when I try to console myself or calm myself down, I say to myself, well, it's not like this is going to kill me now, is it? Or it's not like I am going to die. Then if the answer is no, at least I know I'm still safe. I'm good. As if death is the worst thing that could ever happen to me. Or is it not? Good morning, lovers, friends, and foes. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of saying that, but yeah, good morning, people. I just woke up. We are going to the Eastern Cape, my sisters and I. And, um, literally, sorry, I'm literally running on two hours of sleep. Like, that's not even something to brag about. I'm running on two hours of sleep and I have plus minus 10 hours of driving. Like, yo, yeah, I only got to sleep and go to. And I was woken up by Ayanda just now. It's 20 past 4 in the morning. And we are hoping to leave by 5 o'clock, preferably. Guys, when I Ben Lala I bathed. So I am not about to bath again. Like it's two hours it's two hours later. I'm not about to bath again. I'm just gonna wash my face and then go because even I can still feel it was a little over body. It would be a total waste, so no. So it's my dad's birthday tomorrow, which is Saturday, and I was really hoping to film like a makeup video before I can leave, but yo, I got so caught up doing other things, like yo, guys, and I had a chance, and yesterday I was with the guy that helps me print out a t-shirt, because he knows, I think he knows, Zami, look, and you can do it, shout out, Zami. So he was offering me food and I was like, no, but I need to have a flat stomach by Saturday. And he just said one word. Like, he just said one word. What's it about? Right? So I'm keeping that. I'm looking at my tummy right now in the mirror. And I'm thinking, whether you are flat or not by Saturday, Akbalegi. <laughs> <laughs> it's much more important stuff honestly and I just don't want to lose track of the event itself I mean, what we're doing and why we're doing it and focusing on unimportant things so yeah I will see you guys maybe I'll show you guys the road a bit I'm still undecided I don't know which route to take whether to take the Blomfontein one or to take M3. M3 has a lot of toll gates and the Blomfontein one is a bit faster. But ugh, I don't like the curves after you pass Queenstown. But I'll see. I'll see. So I'll see you guys later. I have always fought so hard to disagree when people say pain changes you. No, pain does not change you, I'd exclaim, because you heal. Citing the many things I've been through, but have always managed to bounce back from, eventually. But how long is eventually when all that you had feared could happen, happens? When you have seen and felt things you never wanted to know. This is close to Bloemfontein. After Grinstad, I think we took the Bloom route, and it seems like it's much more faster because if we were using the M3, we wouldn't even be close to Montrose. So, yeah, I think that we are gonna arrive actually much earlier than I thought. Welcome. 
So we are headed to the entrance where my dad's birthday is going to be. That's my sister Ayanda. That's that's us. That's hey. hi Ayanda. How you doing? Social media. Hi Andy, how you doing? How you feeling? Hey Sina, how you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> It's a pity you guys can't see me. It's a pity. Moleni. Okay, so I'm gonna go in front just so that you guys can see how they actually look. The whole thing. This is the whole thing. <laughs> How you feeling? <laughs> I'm all... <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> 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 Okay, that's me in the mirror with no one to video rise. This is actually the venue. This is actually the Mayfair Hotel in Umtata. We do have nice places in Umtata, in case you're wondering. Mantitele, this is less potil. Get up, son, and this hobby, the visit Panguam. I equal Engati in Ojuala Nabaza Luane Bangas Fool. That's his Utumpia cell and I have landed potil. Uh, we know this will happen because we are going to to long life. We are Impilwende Unotega in Gabis Hog August Bini Ushele Fresh Udam. Let's toast to good health. May he enjoy good health for longer. The last one, which we sometimes take for granted, 
Sipele isipu dibi kona pamgwetu. Kenga mshambi yongo neli, unyoluka, unwene lindwezi kute. God has called this now, apapamgwa kolongi tupu. To happiness. May you May you rejoice in small things. Zao gwenza wano abeta. Diabule. Tenjitike mage di connect chengela kolo lga mama. No tata. Umapafani. No tutu. Anjisite longa endoba imini gateti. Kwa otu wa uteti uza abe glenda hao. Ute umtu. Behind every successful man, there's a woman. Yo ke lendo ndi connect. Aba ya base kaya base beza nundu omshe. Oza zokwe zuteti. Amkwene ate kute mbe wogu. Ute daga kwenu wangu mchiko ka. Tunwe na gulom sisi wa se kaya. Amen. So, na tana kwenye emphasizer. Londa hao. Kango ba uu. Ute tasma kwenu wangu. Uso la kusasi leto katiti. Uu, le mini imine mna ndika kuhu. Uchipo wakatati mwa kashi, ndo washia your best half. Then you take a piece, you give it to your best half. Yes. It takes two to tango. Yes, thank you very much for that. Then the na yamaga tati abu osa umani. Give it to you. Oh, it's only ten minutes. Ah. 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 So I am actually in Mtata, hoping to have a drawing coins, I look dirty as fuck, but I am here to buy, we here to buy KFC, I want to show you guys, I think our town is really, really developing, like, I'm going to show you guys soon. <laughs> People were sympathizing with me saying I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through and I think to myself yep that was me just yesterday I had no idea what this feels like too but there I was within the blink of an eye and the split of a second and my life was changed forever oh death so uninvited unexpected and unannounced yet it came still I was packing my mom's things away the other day. Everything of hers still the way she left it as though she will be back later. And then I realized there's no way I or anyone else for that matter could have seen this coming. In fact, even if we could have, what more could we have done? Because it just did not seem like something we could control or stop. Or else we would have, you know, but we did not. The universe makes no mistakes. Aligned, yes but evolving nonetheless. Evolving as spiritual beings having a humanly experience with every thought, every heartbeat and every breath counting for something. We are more than just the trials in our mind, body and soul. And even though death feels so permanent and final, but how do you completely lose someone whose blood still runs in yours? Yes, the heart may be broken, but our nature as human spiritual beings reflects an order so divine that it is invincible and eternal. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,
Jesus. I am off to fetch one of our friends. She got here this morning. She's here for the funeral service. So we will be spending Christmas with her. Um, I can't even turn the camera around to show my face because I basically didn't, I haven't even taken a bath. Um, it's still the morning, but it's not that late. I mean, it's not that early, sorry. It's still, I think it's around 8 o'clock. So, this is how the streets of Ontata look. Bright in the morning. And I don't know when this place became, apparently it became so dangerous, but apparently this is dangerous. These are the graveyards. This is the gravesite on the left. So, <laughs> of course, death has been on my mind a lot lately because, for obvious reasons. But should I decide to be buried in Umtata, this is definitely where I will be buried. Um, yeah, when we were younger, this place was not that full. But now, it's like the whole site is just full of graveyard next to graveyard. It is a municipal graveyard site, so yeah, there's no demarcated area for a certain family. You just get buried wherever. Oh, there's a traffic. It's my first time seeing the traffic in Omtata. I'm in pajamas. Carrying, like, I'm not even carrying my license because I'm in Omtata. Because there's no JMPD that's going to be on my, pay, on my case. And also because I haven't seen the traffic cops here. It's not like, hey, it's not like Limpopo or KZN or Gauteng where the metro police are just everywhere. There's nothing here. And sometimes I think that's why there's so many cases of drunken driving and people dying from car accidents. Um, yeah, so the amount of time that I've actually been taking this video is how long it takes to go to town. So I'm almost in town now. And that's our mall right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there on the left. That's our mall. It's still new. They've just built it. Um, but I'm not a big fan of going to the mall. Yesterday we actually got to queue <laughs> to pay for the parking tickets. Not a big fan because it then becomes like a whole big fat reunion of some sort. And that's definitely not one of the things I'm keen for. Um, yeah. So this is Ingangelizo, when you're going to Ingangelizo, it's on my right. And when you're going to Southern Road, it's on my left. I'm basically giving you guys a free tour of Umtata. They've just built this place. I feel like it's so convenient. There's a Debonese, there's a KFC, there's a, um, yeah, my place is in Dao Zambes. And the driving here is horrible. Can you see this guy? Can you see? but basically the driving here is just it stinks Yo, it stinks guys and they don't care like there are no rules followed it's not like i'm bad mouthing my hometown but the driving here it's traumatic so this is town i'm in town now um it's so empty probably because it's christmas and most of the people here during christmas they go back to Ama Village's Abo, so yeah, there's about 10 spas in Umtata, like maybe 20. This guy is milking it. The spas guy is probably making a whole lot of money from just yeah. Okay, so it's not safe to drive while I'm on my phone here, so I will see you guys later.
your video do you remember <laughs> yes what were you doing during the video uh-huh please what's on your plate mm. okay say merry christmas again merry christmas merry christmas everyone <laughs> I'm okay. Good. Hi, what do? Hi, what do? Hi, Lily. I feel I feel that I I feel that I Hi, Daddy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Hi, hi. Hi, However, if you think that life is going to screw you over and not continue where it left off as if nothing happened, then you are mistaken. And there is not a time when this was highlighted and bold for me than when it was New Year's. Everyone else was happy, celebrating and excited about the New Year. And for me, it was just another day. Then it dawned on me that, you know what? Life does not care, honey. It does not end on your account. Nor does it suddenly stop just because now your heart aches. Rather, as cliche as it sounds, but it goes on. With or without you. The pain of the passing of a loved one is indescribable and it's almost as though it's a total blur until after the send off. Then from there, the grief is so rude it keeps catching you off guard. On and off and in beats and pieces, it hits you while dishing up food, while mopping the floor, while taking a shower, when cutting potatoes and you remember just how she'd want you to make them. When spotting her car in town and trying to see if it's not her because that's what you've always done. When seeing her favorite coffee at the grocery store. When entering the house and expecting to see her where she normally sits. I could go on and on, but it comes. Especially because familiarity trumps logic when that which is familiar is not applicable anymore. For a while, I dreaded innocent questions such as, how are you? How are you holding up? Happy 2019, how has it been so far? How's home? Because what do I say in response really? It is my mom we are talking about here, who I loved and who loved us dearly, and we were blessed enough to be raised by her for all those years, which is what matters most, right? That we lived and loved and laughed and learned. So initially, I had no interest whatsoever in the new year. Then I remembered what my mom would want for me. I do not want to take the opportunity to feel and think and breathe for granted because in any given moment, it could be my last. Maybe, just maybe, pain does change you because I am really not the same anymore. Now, I know for sure that my fear will not change anything. Nor will it stop anything from happening that is not mine to stop. Now I know for sure the value of always being grateful and above all else of living, laughing, loving and learning right here and right now. And this year I intend to do exactly that. Chani! Happy New Year! And just like that I am leaving my dad's place of birth also where we buried my mom and this is basically the road that leads to the end to back to Mtata and that is how my 2019 
is beginning as today is the 1st of January 2019. There is absolutely nothing that says it's a new year but we live and we learn. I think there's something, there's something so profound that death does to you where you do not fear life anymore because you have seen how fragile life is and that it can be taken from you any moment and that we waste our time focusing on so many things that are not important in life and when death comes it shows you that nothing is as important you know there's nothing that is going to happen to you in life that is not supposed to happen to you it just shows you that so long as you are still alive there's so much that you can still do you know the possibilities are endless but once you lose that ability for your heart to beat and for you to breathe then there's nothing anymore there's absolutely nothing nobody can shake you up nobody can there's nothing you can do you know so I don't think that people who have never experienced what I'm talking about would understand fully what I mean but I think maybe sometimes it needs to happen to you just 